time for your daily crypto update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I am your host, Ben. Welcome back, Framework Fortune community. Let's dive in. So we're seeing a pullback across the market so far today. Bitcoin having a little, whoops, didn't mean to move that, having a little drop ski. But is it something to be concerned about? Eh, I don't think so because we're still on this path, still holding that 47,000 support. Did throw that wick down there, but that wick is still not lower than these previous wicks. So until the price of Bitcoin drops below 45.5, I'm not too concerned about a little pullback today, especially with the new year coming up. Well, let's check out Ethereum. So Ethereum's still kind of in that the indecision area, but even though Ethereum pulled back today, it didn't quite pull back as hard as Bitcoin, and it has already rebounded a little quicker. So that's a good sign, but still in between both of these paths. Not sure if we're going to have to come back down yet or not. Hey, how's it going? Rob, how are you? Let's see... Let's see, what's the top gainers today? I haven't even looked at the crypto market hardly. Got ALCX up off a little bounce, a little rebound there. Bouncing from 230 all the way up to 290 before pulling back to about 270, but still below that 50 day. Keep rebounding about, what am I, 15 cents today, but still in this big downtrend until it breaks that downtrend. Uh, that's not going to do anything. It looks like, again, this is the same type of triangle that's been all, on a lot of the other plays we're looking at for in January, where we're right at the tip looking for a possible breakout. Uh, Jasmine rebounded some, but nothing really there to even pay attention to. Spell has popped back over that two cent area, that previous high back here. Uh, 0 0.022 so very close to this possibly going bullish it's holding up right on that 10 day moving average right here the green line so we're very close to a possible breakout there and I do have it on the higher watch let me go ahead and jump into this Adam popping all the way up almost the 34 Adam just doing its thing like it always does. Has its little pullbacks, bounces right back up. We're still consolidating. And we're seeing it across the Cosmos ecosystem. It's been quite a bit of airdrops for Adam lately. Um, I will try to cover all those airdrops, but if I can't get to them, there's a, I mean, there's a lot of them. Liam at Confident in Crypto is covering every single airdrop that comes out of the Cosmos ecosystem. So check out Confident in Crypto if, if you want to hurry up and get those uh, airdrops because I just don't have the time with everything going on in multiple channels to go through as many airdrops as Cosmos is giving out right now. It's pretty wild. I still have to collect all of them I've only collected like two of them, but I keep seeing Liam putting those videos out. So anyway, CGLD still having a little rebound. So I mean, across the market, even though it got a little ugly this morning, everything still looks fine. And Axie's still a little questionable, though. It's kind of falling off the side there. Of this trend line it needs to pop back up tonight or tomorrow because if it drops any lower if it cracks below 90 then Axie will probably come back down at 75 yeah sheep still in that same area gods gods is still holding up but you can see we are coming into January very very close to this breakout IMX is still hanging around just riding up the trend line We'll move these predictions because those are pretty much over with. But IMX, God's both very close to some possible moves coming here very soon. IMX, we do have some major resistance at 550. We draw that on top of it. 
And you can see right there, beautiful. Just nice little climb up almost to that tip. It, it looks like about January 5th. So maybe next weekend we might start to see some nice movements out of IMX and gods. I don't know of any other coins that are really affiliated in any way with those, but there probably is some as many projects are on the Immutable X platform. And it is the weekend event. If you're having problems with God's Unchained Goo Decks, I just put out a short video on how to get around that issue and still check your weekend uh, event rank and all the progress you're making. So go check that out. What's up, Lauren? Uh huh. Got a smart keyboard, it sounds like. So, Luna, another one. On this one, had that very nice rip all the way up over 100. It's starting to curl and try to get back above the 10 day. If Luna can get back above this 10 day, we'll see that test of uh, 100 again. So, still, and that looks about like January 5th. So, I would say if by the end of next weekend, if we don't see some bigger movements coming out of the crypto market, then uh, that will be an issue. Solana's still kind of looking sketchy. A little bit like a head and shoulders pattern like I've been talking about. Still hasn't really confirmed yet if that's going to hold up another couple of days and maybe it may be just we have to wait till next week could see a lot of sideways movement it's just hard to say because it's the start of a brand new year stock market may or may not get hot so we just don't know it's hard to tell Avalanche looking good. So that prediction I was drawing last night, Avalanche holding up, bouncing off that 50-day. Looks like it's going to continue in this pattern. Try for a breakout about January 6th. So I'm, so, hmm. I think that's about when the altcoin run will really start. Let's look at the altcoin season index real quick. See where... We're looking at on there. So this was, let's see, this altcoin season. Let's see the altcoin year. Oh, yeah, look at this on the altcoin year. Look at this beautiful triangle. Altcoins are very, very close to exploding up into the red, which they have not been. Yeah, man, that looks beautiful. And that's going to look like a, about that January 5th. So by January 5th, we should start seeing rips. If, if that's what we start seeing and we're not, we're not dumping off or anything, you know, before then, then we have very good chances of seeing another leg up in the altcoin market. Now, it could be, at the beginning of the year, I mentioned several times that I thought Bitcoin and Ethereum were going to kind of switch places as far as Ethereum leading the pack for cryptos. And that may be the case. I'm starting to see a lot more people say that, you know, there's still, of course, big time Bitcoin hodlers who always want to hodl Bitcoin. But it is possible that we see Bitcoin drop some more and all the altcoins really start moving even with Bitcoin dropping. It could be that change in dynamic finally starting to happen where more people are adopting cryptos and realizing, oh, Bitcoin is not the end-all, be-all of the altcoin market. Like, personally, I don't think 
Bitcoin should be the weight of Cosmos Atom. Bitcoin drops, there's really no reason Cosmos Atom should. But we see that effect happen across the entire crypto market. So we may be moving into that direction where we may not see Bitcoin affect it quite as much. Uh, and that's a good thing for the overall altcoins. That's true too, Lauren. That's a good point. The holiday hours and everything with the banks and stuff could keep, uh, you know, a lot of deposits going through. I've been having a few issues with some moving some money around, not on crypto platforms, but uh, trying to get it from banks to the crypto platforms. The the banks, I don't know. It, it's starting to seem like the banks really don't want people taking their money out of the bank and putting it in cryptocurrency, which makes perfect sense because why would they want to? But we'll see. Hopefully it is just the holiday hours and not something more annoying like banks being little crybabies because they're finally getting beat out by something else. I'm just going to look through here and see if we see anything else going on. Any other possible plays? See, Crow's still in its big triangle. That one could possibly break out that same time around that January 6th, 7th area. QNT has pulled all the way back, holding the trend line. Oh, yeah, Matic. What's Matic doing? So Matic actually is still holding the trend line as well, the short-term trend line. We may see Matic, Matic, Matic may start the year off. Matic may be the first of the blockchain projects that we may see that ignites everything, which would make sense because Polygon Matic was, to me, undervalued. And underperformed last year. Let's look on this altcoin season chart on the year and see where Matic was at. I don't even see it on their chart. Huh. So maybe it didn't perform. Maybe I'm. Maybe it performed worse than I thought it did, which is pretty bad because I didn't think it performed well in the first place. Well, it's just not on this list, but that'd be weird for them not to have Matic on here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. But still, Matic, I mean, let's see, what was the beginning of the year? Right here. It was at, I mean, 33 cents in the year at 250 is pretty good performance. But it's not as, I mean, for a blockchain project, Matic, this just still seems too cheap. And now with news of them doing token burns and other things like that, uh, I think it's just a matter of time for this thing starts to go. Showing that pretty clearly in this wedge. It's already broken out of this wedge. So that's why I'm thinking this may be the front runner for the start of this year for the, this possible hot altcoin market. Polkadot still on this trend line. So if you like Polkadot, nothing wrong with checking it out right now. Bounce back here, so could get another bounce. We've built higher highs and higher lows. I don't see it cracking. Um, well, yeah, I was just talking about God. So God's God's is not really getting wrecked. Spell, I I was talking about too earlier. Spell does look good, but all of them look good. That's that's the thing, like, God's has been dropping short-term, but it had doubled 
almost tripled in price in that four day span. So it's just been slowly selling off. I mean, anybody who bought the ICO or whatever, if there was one, I don't know if there even was one. If there was, I wasn't part of the game yet. But anybody who got it early, you know, before it started really ripping, they were going to sell some of that. So, so far, it has held up. That $4 area is very close to popping over that triangle, same as IMX, the Mutable X platform. Uh, IMX still looking more bullish than God's, but that's what I was saying yesterday. I think IMX will probably rip first, and then God's will follow. But either way, both of them are very close. I'm, I'm thinking next weekend. Same thing on Spell. Where did Spell go? Oh yeah, I put it on high watch. Because Spell was able to come back up and hold this 10 day. And hold this previous uh, resistance as support so far. She projects burned over 1 billion sheep in December. That's pretty impressive. They keep burning at that rate. Sheep definitely could have some type of action. It's also a, a trend line now, too, that's confirmed on Spell, I just noticed. We can actually just take that, that support line out. Because it is holding this trend line pretty well. Just needs to break over that 0 0.25 cent area to test that 3 cent area. Play looking a little ugly. But don't count gods out yet. Especially right now, the dev team is on vacation. They should, be come, they should be back at the beginning of the week. And uh, I'm sure there's been some selling from glitches and stuff like that that's been going on with gods while they've been gone. But once they come back, I would say the, the dev team is going to go full on crazy working to get this project, get the staking and governance out and uh, uh, the other sets. They're going to do a core set refresher soon they keep talking about. Some of the music ain't half bad on the Sheep Burn playlist. I don't know much about the Sheep Burn playlist. I need to find out about that. So I'm just looking around just to see if there's anything that I'm missing. Let's go... Let's go to CoinGecko and see what's the highest coin today that's not on our list if there's anything new popping up so you see we got a bunch of little cheap coins that have ran today Uh, nothing, nothing in the, where's that Titano, that Titano, who was talking about Titano, I forgot who was talking about this one, I think it was, was it Mike B, was it, was it Fat Boy Drizzy, who was talking about this, because that thing is quite a bit up, yeah, since they mentioned it, it's been spiking, I forgot about Titano, so you know what, let's go take a look at Titano's. Oh yeah, this is that hundred, hundred percent one. What was it? 
Let's see, what was it I had in my account? What did I buy the other day with that garbage? I bought some garbage the other day. No, the berry's still, oh, I think it was Bitcoin I was trying to buy. I don't remember, but that berry's still in here. Let me see if I can swap some berry for this thing. I'm going to try it again. Because that order never went through. Okay, it costs 15 cents. I don't care about that. I will get rid of this damn berry. So, okay. So it says that transaction has been included and will be collected in a little while. Looks like there's no problems. So I should be getting rid of that berry finally for some of this Titano. I mean, $7 in berry. This thing's going up 102% <laughs> in interest. Or 102,000 percent. I'll put a little bit. I'll gamble a little bit on this thing. I don't want to buy that many. I'm a... How much is a hundred of these? Yeah. What is Titano's price? 16 cents. Well, this is in the last 24 hours. This has ran that much. Hold on a second now. Five cents since last Friday. It went all the way up to 20, 16 cents. So it's tripled in price. Whoever called this out, man, great call out on this little bastard. <laughs> Because you could have made a killing if you had got in just last Friday at that cheap of a price at five cents. And it triples in price in a week. Interesting. So I am buying this at the top. I didn't realize. I was looking at a 24-hour chart, so I didn't think uh, there's a little double top up here. This could come back down, especially after this big of a move. Thing just continued to uptrend since it came out. Well, hell, it has. Yeah, so I may be buying this at the top. I don't know, but I didn't buy much. Let's check. Uh, let's check my meta my MetaMask and see if it's in there. Damn it! Get rid of this. <laughs> Uh, you have to have buy. You have to have BNB and go to Pancake Swap. It's on the Binance chain. Same thing. I am gonna grab some uh, Quantum too while I'm on here. Let's grab some of that. That game we looked at yesterday. What is that? Quantum Project Quantum. There it is. Oh, I'm done. That's the damn. Come on. The white paper. But you want to always, no matter what you do. I'm going to have to go to Reddit. There we go. When you buy, when you buy a coin. That is like this, where it's a new coin or anything. So it is auto staking. Okay, come get the contract to uh, address from the actual website because a lot of these cheap coins like this, Pancake Swap, Uniswap, any of that is going to. have people who put in fake coins 
import. There we go. Anyone? Yeah, see, and you always get this error message too, but in case you've not paid attention to it, because you'll see this is an unknown source because this thing is so new. Um, and who knows? Project Quantum, as good as it looks and everything, could be a scam. We don't know. Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. Uh, Thirty-seven thousand of those boys. Insufficient output amount. Okay. Hey, this is on Pancake Swap, right? Make sure. Yeah, it's BP twenty. What is going on here? Let's see. Let's try it. We'll just try. Maybe I don't have enough in fees or something. Let's just see. Transaction cannot exceed. Insufficient output amount. Do have a portfolio tracker? Let me see if I need to connect this first. Let's show my Binance coin and my Barry. I swear to God, if this Barry doesn't go away. Trackbsc.com by only one token. Maybe I need to go higher then. What is going on with this? I put it's estimated you receive at least. Okay. Huh. Well, it's not a work in there. Well, let's see if um, it works with the BOB. Or the Binance coin with Titanos. Or Titano, whatever it's called. Let's see here. Huh. What is going on here? Oh, wait a minute. I might just approved Barry. I might not actually. Okay. I see what you did with the Barry thing. So still insufficient output amount. What is going on? So because there's no liquidity, it could be there's no liquidity for these tokens. And buy Titano. Let's see if we can swap all of it. Maybe I have to. Maybe I have to have more BNB than what I've got. Because I only got what I got in BNB. I got thir no. I, that should be enough. Thirty six is not that expensive to send. Oh, look at that. Look at a little button on this little BSC tracker. Fail to load. Don't know. Maybe we need to go to Pancake Swap too. See if that maybe help makes a difference. A 
Well, maybe this is. Like I said, I still got to learn about this Binance chain. I don't know quite as much about it as Cosmos or the other chains that I'm constantly in. Yeah, I know. Pancake Swap is not allowing me to, to do anything. Let's do an experiment here. Let's try with, uh, let's see if I, I don't know if I want any cake. But that is the native coin. There's the B coin. Yeah, okay, let's just do an experiment. Let's see. It may be that I don't have enough money in here, but the transaction is super cheap, so it shouldn't... No, this one's working. It's going to let me do it for, for uh, Pancake. So something is something up with both of those coins because that's not the problem. Let me buy any pancake I want. Let's see if it let me do. Um, see if it let me do gods. No gods is Ethereum. I can't use gods. Uh, I don't want any Cardano either. Actually, let's try this. Let's see if I can convert the berry back into BNB. Let's see if that did anything. Doing science here. Assets. Hey, no more berry. We got rid of the berry. Okay. So that is working. Let's try one more time with Titano. Oops, not Titan. Insufficient output amount. So maybe I gotta buy a bunch of it? No. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'll check into it and figure out what's going on. Because it should be working. The only thing I can think of is maybe you have to buy quite a, a larger amount of those coins. But yeah, I'll look into it some more because I do not know what is going on there. Close all this out. But Titano is at 102,000% APY. Let's see, there's an app here. Let's, let's get this app open. What is that? Got another rebate in a minute. Let me 
just takes us back again. Titanic looks pretty bad though in this chart. Well, this is the B and B chart, so actually. See, it keeps still climbing. No. See, Yearn Finance starting to try to break this tip of its triangle. Your finance has been consolidating. This is a more expensive coin, but last time it broke, it ran all the way to 95,000. So that's definitely one to keep on your watch list. Yeah, it looks like everything's starting to turn a little green now across the board. Yeah, Adam's about to break back over 33. So just in this little bit of time we've been on the stream, things are already turning around. Have to learn this Binance chain, I guess. Yep, yeah, IMX popping back up a little bit as well. So, let's see what do you got here? Gfinity Sports. Let's take a look right here. Oh, here we go. Doctor Sheeb's. What is a what is a what is a pet a pedometer? Is that to track all the pedophiles around your area? What I don't got to, I don't understand what that's got to do with the sheep. Okay, so this pedometer is named Steps. It will burn sheep for every user that hits over 10,000 steps in a day using advertising revenue. We've reached out to a few major advertisers who obviously want eyeballs and are willing to pay for them with ad space. We simply will convert these funds we get minus expenses into sheep and burn them. Yeah, and then he said, as for the reasoning behind the decision, uh, he said the circulating supply is too high, which I've been saying that since she even came on the scene. And, he, and then he said, I get frustrated when people talk about sheep going to a penny. Some of these YouTubers don't understand ep economics. It just can't reach there with the supply. And that's exactly what I've been saying. Like sheep can go up, but until they burn more of that supply, it's not going to go to a penny or anything crazy like that from where it's at with the amount of supply it's got. So if, uh, let's see, who is this guy? That's a medical service provider. Medical service provider. The doctor CEO, this is who who they're talking about. Planet Crypto, ask the doctor CEO. Okay, well, I mean, he knows what he's talking about, so that's a good thing. See, since accepting Sheeb, this community response has not waned. And as the doctor has completed pharma transactions using Sheeb. Wow. What is the Sheebarium? Shibarium blockchain, so it's going to have its, is this a second blockchain? So they're saying this is a layer two. 
Wait, hold on. Let me re make sure I got this right. Shibarium is a blockchain layer 2 first proposed by Ryoshi, the creator of Shiba Inu coin. Okay, so this is going to be their layer 2 sort of blockchain on top of Ethereum. Kind of like... Uh, Kind of like Immutable X is on top of Ethereum, and then Gods is the layer three. So, so she payments through the likes of now payments. And Shibarium will avoid the high transaction cost of Ethereum. It will also work with Shi, the Shiba stablecoin. Interesting. So there's no release date, but they're talking about the Shibarium will likely ramp up in the coming months. They're locking in a triple-A game studio and so much more. So, whoo, some interesting stuff coming out on Sheeb. And here's another. There's going to be three Sheeb. Bigger Entertainment's going to host three Sheeb burning events in 2022, including NFT Madness. So, Valentine's Day campaign Sheeb Lovers merch drop. The Sheeb Super Burn Super Bowl weekend event. And NFT Madness, which is March Madness. Huh. So, big things apparently coming out for Sheeb. And it just continues to uh, surprise me. It's one of those projects where I keep saying, people are like, oh, it's a meme coin. I'm like, yeah, it was a meme coin, but not anymore. So she, as much as it is up, if they keep burning the tokens, it's just going to go up. You keep burning the supply and people keep buying it. Let's actually go to live coin watch here and see what this, uh, the holders are of Sheeb at this point. Because we've not checked that in a couple of weeks. I think last time we checked, they were maybe up to a million. So they're a little bit over a million. 11 million holders of Shiba Inu. Um, buy bit, celebrate the new year with our 10 billion sheep drop. So they're going to be doing a sheep drop on buy bit until January 14th. So be aware of that. If you do want to get a Sheeb drop, uh, we'll pop over here to buy a bit. There's a Twitter. Oh, I just went to my Twitter. Oh, it's just taking me straight to Twitter. Okay. So here's the buy bit platform. Oh, you might not be able to get a drop with buy bit. We are in one of the restricted countries or regions, so the U.S. regulations you have to get through. So if you're not out of country or doing the ways to get around that, then you will not be eligible, probably. You'll probably not be able to get that sheep drop from them. So interesting. A lot going on with sheep. I want to keep a I mean I keep an eye on sheep all the time anyway, but I want to keep a really close eye on it. This this area might be a really interesting area. It may take a while for sheep to start curling back up. But I think maybe February, March 
especially as they're rolling out some of the plans for Shebarium and getting up more hype. You know, we could see Sheb go on another little run. Yeah, if there's any other coins or anything, guys, want me to check out? Let's see. FJB is getting listed on White Bitter and iBank Exchange. I didn't see that. Yeah, you'd be the sheep spurt. Because <laughs> there's so much going on with sheep. There's so much going on with Immutable X, Gods Unchained, Cosmos Adam, and all of that. There's just a lot going on. A lot of economic shifts that are happening. 2022 is going to be an interesting year. We will see if cryptos finally take over everything or not. Let's see, spell just dropped. Oh, no, I was looking. Okay, that's the change. I was going to say spell shouldn't have dropped. But I believe that's it for me tonight. We will be back Monday. Exactly. There you go, Lauren. I'm not going to do a live crypto update tomorrow because of the New Year, the New Year's weekend, and I don't think that much is going to change from the day to tomorrow. If there is if there is anything that I catch like the uh, IMX possible rip happening, I'll post it on FrameworkFortune.com. So if you haven't checked that out yet, go check it out. It is free. Sign up to the email. No paywalls. But we will be back tomorrow morning for Live Gods Unchained Weekend Ranked Event Matches and Community Gameplay. So if you want to come play some gods with the Framework Fortune community, be here around 11 a.m. Central. And we'll be streaming for probably about three or four hours like we have been the last couple of Saturdays. And you are welcome to come challenge me. We'll start the New Year's off right. Betty White token. They put out a Betty. Well, Betty White died, I guess, but I don't. I don't believe that Betty White's immortal. She can never die. That's just media nonsense. <laughs> Betty White is a legend, so. May she rest in peace, and if she is actually dead, but I don't think she can die. And I'm not joking. I'm serious. She she is a mortal being, at least in my eyes. Uh oh yeah, what's the what's the ticker symbol? Moon. The ticker symbol is Moon One Life for this Betty White coin, or is it Betty? Nope, not Betty. Oh, you're saying? Oh, <laughs> nice joke. Well, hey, listen, you're not you're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. You need to talk to Ruben. You want to get a Betty White coin made? I thought you were serious because, I mean, that's how fast people are with these coins. You know, they see an opportunity to try to do a quick pump and dump scheme. They'll put a coin out real quick if it's got some type of uh, uh, thing like relevance to Betty White today and the New Year's end and all of that. But... <laughs> Like I said, one life. Talk to Ruben about that. He is the blockchain expert and creator of those things. I am just a guy who talks about that stuff. There you go. But all right, guys. You guys are interested in the Betty White coin? Looks like Framework Fortune community is getting on top of this Betty White coin. So <laughs> we'll see if they can make it happen. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.